Right, before I start, I just want to say, it's December 21st, 2020. Where's the solar flash, man? Shit! <laughs> right. I've just been online. And I've just looked at the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction. And it is a really, a truly magical experience because it's never happened in our lifetime before. So what I'm hoping is that it's going to release some kind of cosmic, massive cosmic energy all over the plane and we are going to start unlocking parts of our DNA. We all know that the planets are just wandering stars, portals into other dimensions, but where's the solar flash? <laughs> where's the goddamn solar flash? So, that's not happened. Maybe there's still time for that. Maybe it'll happen today, tomorrow. Maybe we're just waiting for this big change to happen on the planet for the better. Because right now, the vibration on the planet is very low and there's some demons. Demons! Making sure that you're fucking in a low vibration right now. They're trying to pull out something else like this iris is uh, more severe and it's spreading faster so all the trucks is it in France have all stopped so no doubt when I go to the supermarket it's gonna be food shortages people running around like maniacs again back to square one London is in tier four that's like I've seen that swamped with people like Exodus right rushing around going mad and it's not going to be long before we're in tier 4 basically up here now there's something going off we all know that I mean there are really really going things are going really mad at the minute maybe it has something to do with this alignment maybe it maybe it don't right but I do believe that they're um, putting us all in tier 4 waiting for them to roll out the vaccine and that they're going to make us all take it they want to separate they want to permanently separate your soul from your body so you never ever get off this realm never they want you here with them you're the superheroes they're the villains just remember that you know i've been getting on board december the 21st 2019 december the 21st 2020 i was really really on board and i really really wanted to um be ready for ascension and i thought it was going to have this great solar flash but no, it's, it's not going the way that we seem to think it's going. But today we are in the age of Aquarius. It is new beginnings and it is the revealing. It's the 2020 vision where everything from darkness comes to light. We're going to see huge changes on this plane. After this alignment, I'm expecting a huge cosmic shift of energy to cover this plane and to put us all back on the right path you know back to ourselves back to loving back to caring back to just back together these elitists as well as they've got everybody by the balls because why everybody's stuck to their phones or stuck to this internet shit nobody's going to be doing nothing you take that away you would see a very different outlook right now people would just not be buying into none of this shit it would not work. It's only working because you are being sucked right now through your phones and media devices. Right? They've got you good. As long as you're at home all nice and cushy in front of the television with your food in your cupboards, it's stuck in front of like the phone, stuck in front of all this media shit. They've got you and they know that. They're telling you what's what. Always been the case. Why you keep like buying into it, watching all what's on the news and everything like that, that's going to mess with you. It's gonna mess with you so bad now I just want to put a line in the sand right now it's like I'm not making any more content because this December the 21st as in the for the last few years as my energy has been stolen basically I put all my time and effort into these dates we've all been building it all up and we're all thinking it's gonna happen and it's not happened does it let's be honest and for that, I'm really sorry. People under the comments of this will be like, no, no, it's really going to happen still. I'm just not interested now. I, I couldn't care less. 
like that's your beliefs i've come across in the past a lot of top spiritual teachers online on the youtube that are making a packet that preaching nonsense there's a one in particular and uh, he's fear porn in the titles with this end of the world shit that's to drag everybody in so he can make a few quid that's what that is. I'm not going to give you any names on it. I'm sure you'll figure it out in, in time. It's all new age bullshit. I think the only thing that you can do right now is to be on, on a level-headed path. Is start going with him. Healing herself. Know the self. You are the self. The elf. The golden self. Go on that path. The path within. I'm going to start doing stuff that's real now. And if I've got anything to share that's like... Uh, valuable or unique or anything like that I'm gonna put it online and share it with you guys when I've seen weird languages in wood and any kind of strange stuff I'll share them online I just want to do things now it's more you know real to me and spend a lot less time on social media where where these big giants like YouTube Facebook and all that are really stealing your energy they're stealing your time and energy away from you and you ain't getting any younger we didn't get the solar flash that we was waiting for. But what we are expected to get is a massive conscious ball of energy that will shift on this plane. And that will get millions and millions of people within the coming weeks. Which will unlock your superhero DNA powers. Ba -boom. So yeah, I have to really stop by now. Stop with it all, because it's just... It's enough's enough. You know what, turn your telly off, put your phone down, go and have a go and have a create and play out in nature, touch, feel, you know, explore, because there's so much to explore. We're going too fast or we're blinded most of the time from what's really in front of our faces. And there is a lot going off. It's just time to take a step back a little bit. Slow down, because time is speeding up. Not all is what it seems, put it that way. So when you are looking into those trees and stuff, I don't see trees, I see other things, you know? But that's what the whole idea is about, just to stop. Breathe it in and just look around and just connect and feel. I just wanna say that I respect each and every one of um, the people that comment on my wall, uh, that have been with me for the last few years. Uh, we've been in it together. We've stuck together, seeking truths. For me, it has to end. I just can't carry on with it anymore. I've gone through so much over the years, having my own awakening, and then I'm kind of I'm getting misdirected again by other people. And it's like, no, 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 I need to get back on track. I need to, we need to start going forward again and not listening to this new age hype. What will be, will be. And if there's going to be a massive reset, there's going to be a massive reset. But we need to make the change. We all can make a change right now. Today. We can start today. We can uh, be better. Let's build a better environment for your kids, for your family. Stop being selfish. Put others before yourself. Start meditating. Go out in nature. If you've never meditated before, it's a magical experience. I've been doing it like... I used to do it to 432 Hertz music, but now I do it out in nature. I go out every single night and I just take an hour off into nature, close my eyes and suddenly it's this magical experience where you just connect with the outside and in world together. You just I used to be a free spirited soul. I used to do drugs, drink. I was mad. I had tough discipline as a kid as well. My parents says to me, which I no longer speak to anymore it's been about seven years but she says to me she said i had to treat you like the way that i did with punishments because i have a fear one day that you're going to die by doing drugs and drink and all that crazy stuff she wasn't far off from the truth because i was a riot i'm a free spirit but as i've got older now and i've had my own children i've calmed down excessively I look, I look at them and I think, no, no, I've got to be there for them. I love them so much. I'm grounded into this family life that I've never ever thought that I could ever do. And here I am, 40 years old, doing it, settling down, aging. 
And I'll admit, I am aging faster now. Back when I was on that wild side, I was fast. I was nuts. <laughs> Fat, bald headed. I was whap. I just wanted to be at parties. I just wanted to be with people and have fun. And I used to pay for most of it. I used to pay to our friends for fuck's sake. But really, all those friends turned out to be associates. And I had to grow. I had to learn, grow, and realise what was going on. I like my own space and my own time now. I like my time in nature. I like to think. I like to heal. I like to learn. Just not none of this new age bullshit. <laughs> and for all those people that I feel like I've led astray, I do sincerely apologise to you all. Because we all thought that this event was going to happen on December 21st, 2020. It, it still could. It's still, in the next few days, something could major happen. We don't know. But one thing for sure is I do believe we are going to experience a massive conscious shift of energy. Collectively. Anyway, I can ramble on to you all day and say sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to start doing things now that it's just real and share my experiences with you that are real. Things that are real, exciting. I gotta go anyway. Anyway, I've gotta go. Thank you for understanding. And uh, I'm gonna see you on, um, and I'm gonna see you really soon. Hopefully, maybe I'll do a short film. Maybe uh, I'll go somewhere film something something great it's just you know i'm about magic i'm my i'm about magic magic mike <laughs> right um i'm into all that i'm into fantasy i'm into you know that that's me pisces slash aquarius i'm on the cusp so i'm into all that that's me sometimes i lose touch with my own reality and uh i think it's a good thing sometimes because it escapes all the bullshit what's going on right now Someone's trying to get you with a fucking syringe. Get here! You need vaccinating! I'm not gonna have any kind of vaccination shot inside of me. Get the fuck out of here with that. No chance. No one's injecting me. No.